What does your spine and a jelly donut have in common? Check out this video to find out. Also check out this video to find out what happens to that donut. Hey, I'm Dr. Greg Gersten with Align Wellness Center. And we're gonna share with you some videos here on our channel about how to live the life of your dreams. Today, we're gonna to compare what your spine and a jelly donut have in common. We'll start off with the normal and then we'll move into how a disc degeneration looks compared to the spine and a jelly donut, as well as get into a herniation, a bulge, and an extrusion. So let's start with some general anatomy on your spine. These are the bones in your spine. They're called vertebrae, and this is a segment of your spine. Between each of the vertebrae, there is this unit or thing called a disc, a spinal disc. The disc has two main components. It has annulus fibers on the outside and a nucleus in the middle. Now this component of the spine is massively important. It winds up providing for shock distribution on every step, activity, jump, movement that you take, as well as it provides a nice spacer to allow for the spinal nerves to come out and tell every tissue organ gland what to do. It also provides for ideal curves within your spine. Now, what does this have to do with the jelly donut? Here's what it does. When we look at the disc, you can notice that their outside or the annulus fibers, they look pretty big and tough. This is real similar to the outside of our jelly donut. It's big and tough. It allows for you to hold on to it so that you're just not holding on to a, a spoonful of jelly. The nucleus the inside is a lot more like the jelly in the donut. It is what winds up moving and allows this normal spinal disc to shock absorb and to space out. The jelly allows for the disc and the donut to bounce back to its regular shape. Now, unlike a jelly donut, the spinal disc get all of their nutrients from the bones above it and below it. It has no blood supply. So at night when you lay down, it's absorbing all the nutrients that it needs so it can be large and spacious. And then after a long day, it can wind up shrinking and losing a lot of its nutrients. The first change that we're gonna talk about to the spine is going to be spinal degeneration. And that happens when there's damage to the end plate on bottom or on top of the vertebrae or the disc. And what can happen is that the spine can degenerate and the disc can degenerate. Notice how this looks all dried up. This would be real similar to our jelly donut if we pulled out all the jelly. Now for some folks, they love the donut, but for me, I'm a jelly guy. So the inside is where it's at. The other components that we wind up finding happening within the spine that cause the disc to have problems wind up occurring from irregular wear and tear or positioning. So if a spinal segment is misaligned and it's rubbed on for a long period of time, the outside fibers or the wall of our jelly donut can wind up breaking down, cracking, and becoming loose. When we wind up having that looseness, the jelly on the impact gets pushed out through the cracks, and it starts to look a little bit inflamed, and you might even get some symptoms or occurrences of back pain or neck pain. As we just wind up taking care of and masking those symptoms, whether it's through medication, whether it's through surgery, whether it's through injections, or whether it's just through exercise or rest alone, but we don't wind up correcting that position and training the spine to stay in the right position, it wears and tears and affects more of the annulus fibers, the outside fibers, and allows the nucleus jelly donut to move further and further out. So every episode, we wind up seeing that more and more pressure gets put onto the donut and more and more of the donut gets shifted out of place and it gets worn out. What can happen with this? That's the last step that we wind up seeing. And the nucleus can wind up, that jelly donut can protrude and cause a bulge out of the spinal cord out into the spinal cord or into the, where the nerves go out to your body. That's similar to like a balloon when you blow it up and it all of a sudden sort of pop, gets larger. The last thing that can wind up happening if we just take care of the symptoms of those bulges winds up being that the disc can actually extrude out. Now if we wind up looking at our jelly donut, we might notice, uh-oh, this wasn't a jelly donut at all. This was actually a Bavarian cream. Sorry, I messed that up.
but you can see that the cream is starting to come out. And the nucleus can start to come out and put contact onto the nerves. This is really more difficult to wind up helping to fix, and eventually it can wind up sequestering or completely coming apart from the donut and sitting on the spinal cord. This is how a jelly donut is like your spine. I know you've been wondering and wanting to know that. And more importantly, you've been wondering, what am I going to do with this jelly donut now that I'm done? Well, I've been dying to do this all day. Fantastic. Now that you know what a jelly donut and your spine have in common, let's make sure to take care of our spine so we don't run into those the bad things that happen to the jelly donut or to your, to your spine. A great place to get that started is by getting checked by your chiropractor, who's going to check for alignment to not allow the wear and tear to happen, as well as to make sure the end plates are working their best. So we just went over what a Bavarian cream donut and your spine have in common. Now I've got two steps for you. First off, if you like this video and want to see other videos about your health and wellness and how to maintain it the best, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Second, I want to know what you learned from this, so go ahead and share it with me in your comments. Additionally, if you or someone you know has problems that are caused by the disc injuries or numbness and tingling and you want to see if there's a natural way to solve them, call our office and see if we can help. We love to help people and if we're not in your area, we'll help you find someone who can. Lastly, I'm Dr. Greg Gersten with Align Wellness Center and I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your health.